Hello everyone, today we will start review reviewing unit 7. Unit 7, it's about salt. Firstly, uh, as all of us we know about salt, uh, or when someone will talk about salt, directly it comes to your mind the salt, the table salt, the salt that we're using it uh, as a, a flavoring. But in fact, there are uh, many types of uh, salts. Each so each kind of salt it has different uses. For example, here we have some examples of salts. Firstly, calcium sulfate. Okay, calcium sulfate. It's the chalk. Chalk. It's example. It's an example of salt. Okay. In sport, you can use magnesium carbonate to keep your hands dry so they do not slip. Uh, here it's another kind of uh, salt. So, and these are more examples of salts. So, when it, when you will hear the word salt, it doesn't mean only the salt that we uh, eat or the table salt. No, the table salt is is just one example of lots of examples of salts. Then. Acid and salt. Acid and salt. Acid and salt. The main way to prepare salt, or the main way to make or to produce salt, it's by using acids. Let's come back to these examples of acids of uh, salt. Sorry. Okay. Calcium sulfate, magnesium carbonate, aluminium, aluminium sulfate, ammonium nitrate, and so on. As you can see, they have different names. What's that mean? It means they consist of different chemicals. But all of these salts, it came from acid. Acid, it's the main chemical that it's used to produce or to make salt. The names here are what? Sulfate, carbonate, okay, nitrate, okay, chloride, different names. Why they have different names? Because they came from different Acids. So, focus on this table. This table is very important. Name of acid. One, two, three. Three different acids. Okay. Here it's the for the formula of each one of each acid. And salts formed from the acid. So, any acid that will be formed by using hydrochloric acid. Okay. The name of the salt will be chloride. An example, sodium chloride. The formula of sodium chloride. Any, any salt that they use sulfuric acid to make it, so the name of this salt will be sulfates. Example, copper sulfate. And here is the formula of the salt. Any acid, any salt that it's made up of or made up from nitric acid, so we will call it nitrate. Example, potassium nitrate and the formula of it. Preparing 7.2, preparing a salt using metal and acid. Also here, what do you need to do? You need to memorize this formula this is the main formula just memorizing understanding this formula you can solve all the questions okay acid here as you can see they uh, acid any kind of acid okay metal any metal it will form salt and hydrogen okay this word acid you can use any acid metal you can use any metal salt you will have different type of different type of salts depending on the acid that you used but all the chemical reactions 
that it forms salt, it produces a gas, and this gas is hydrogen. Okay, whenever they will ask you which gas will be formed when a salt is uh, produced, directly you will say hydrogen. But how do you know it's hydrogen or why it's always hydrogen? If you will come back to 7.1, focus on this. All acids contain hydrogen. So, all salts, they came from where? From acid. Okay. All acids contain what? Hydrogen. So, always when there will be a chemical reaction between any acid with any metal, you will have salt and also a hydrogen gas will be released. Here, let's take an example. Zinc, it's example of metal. Hydrochloric acid, it's example of acid. Okay. When now, when you have metal pro uh, reacted, reacting with uh, hydrochloric acid, the name of the salt will be what? Will be chloride, as we saw here in this table. Any metal react with hydrochloric acid, it will make or it will produce chloride. Okay. So here, zinc plus hydrochloric acid will form zinc chloride and the gas will be released we call it hydrogen okay now questions which of the compounds in the equation above here is a salt what do you think we have this which one of this it's an example of salt zinc no zinc is just a metal hydrochloric acid no it's acid Hydrogen? No, hydrogen is a gas. So what's left? Zinc chloride. So the answer here, the answer for question number one, it's zinc chloride. Question number two, which acid would you add to the metal magnesium to make the salt sulfate? Okay, if you have, uh, if you have magnesium, Magnesium plus what? What you should add here? Which acid? Okay. Plus acid equal to magnesium sulfate. Also, plus you will have hydrogen. Okay, now we need to replace the acid here. Which acid we will uh, use? Firstly, you should come here. Sulfate. Okay, the name of the salt here is sulfate. So, because it's sulfate, if you will go back to the table, which acid it makes sulfate? It's what? Sulfuric acid. So, the answer here, it will be what? Instead of acid, you will write sulfuric acid. This is the answer for question number two. Now, question number three. Write down the word equation for the reaction of iron with hydrochloric acid. Okay, now it says iron plus hydrochloric acid equal to what? If you look at this formula, you will see iron, it's a metal, acid, metal plus acid, it will make salt. But which salt it will be iron chloride why iron chloride because uh, here you use hydrochloric acid if you will come back again to this table okay they used hydrochloric acid so the salt will be uh, chloride it will be iron chloride plus hydrogen
you can practice more by using different examples of metals with uh, uh, the three types of acids that uh, you have. Seven point three. Seven point three. Metal carbonates and acids. So here, what we will have, we will have making salts between when uh, metal react with car metal carbonates with acid. What do you mean by this title? Sulfuric acid when it react with metal calcium it's metal carbonate it will make what it will make calcium sulfate which is example of salt plus water plus carbon dioxide so also here you should memorize this formula this is the main formula when acid react with carbonate it will make salt plus water plus carbon dioxide again focus water always you will have water always you will have carbon dioxide okay what will change here acid carbonate and salt okay acid instead of acid sulfuric acid or you can use hydrochloric acid or you can use nitric acid for carbonate it could be calcium carbonate okay then salt how many or what are the examples of salt either for example maybe it's calcium sulfate calcium chloride calcium nitrate okay and water see all of them we will get water water carbon dioxide carbon dioxide again for 7.3 metal carbonates and acid what you have to memorize you have to memorize the main formula and uh, with the three types of acids that we explained that's it question number one it says write the word equation for the reaction between magnesium carbonate and uh, nitric acid nitric acid okay how to solve this one the word equation sorry the word equation it's what the reaction between magnesium carbonate and nitric acid we will write nitric acid plus magnesium carbonate equal to equal to what now equal to what because we have carbonate we have nitric acid or which is acid always we will get water plus carbon dioxide okay now here we will get salt but which salt salt here it will be what we used here what which acid nitric acid so because it's nitric nitric acid nitric so which salt we will get it's nitrate okay nitrate which metal we used here it's magnesium so the answer will be magnesium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide. Also, you can practice more by using different acids, different uh, examples of carbonates you will get the same uh, answers, but always you will see there will be here water and carbon dioxide. 
as we explained before in uh, when salt it re salt uh, when uh, metal react with uh, acid always you will get a uh, hydrogen gas here when you will have uh, acid react with the uh, carbonate always you will have water and carbon dioxide Seven point four. Seven point four. It's forming salts by neutralization. The word neutralization. It means, as you remember in grade seven when you studied about acid and alkali, we said acid and alkali they differ by their pH. Acid they have pH lower than seven. 7, 6, 5, until 4, until uh, 1, sorry. Uh, alkaline, they have uh, pH uh, above 7, above 7 until 14. Now, if you have uh, two solutions, one it's acid and one it's alkaline, if you will mix them together, what will happen? When you will mix acid with alkaline, here you are doing the process of neutralization you are neutralizing their pH you are changing their pH either from acid to be neutral which it's 7 in the pH scale or maybe you will have alkali which it's above 7 until 14 so you will decrease it until it will change to be 7 but while you are doing this process what you will get you will get Salt. Let's take an example. Acid plus alkali equals salt plus water. Very important uh, formula. The main formula. You should memorize it. Now, let's take an example of it. An example of acid. Okay. Hydrochloric acid. If we will add it to alkali, example of alkali, sodium hydroxide. So, acid plus alkali equal to what? Sodium chloride, which is salt, and also you will get water, okay? Questions, how can you test to see if a liquid is an acid or alkali? We say it by using uh, indicator. We will use a specific indicator. Question number two, what word is used to, to describe a solution that is neither acid nor alkaline? We say when the solution it's, it's either will be acid, alkaline, or if it's none of them, so it will be neutral. We call it neutral. Question number three. What are the properties of alkalis? What do you mean by alkalis here? The alkali. Firstly, as I mentioned, their pH is above 7. So it's 7, above 7 until 14. Okay. They have oxygen and hydrogen in their structure. Sodium hydroxide, which is always hydroxide. Uh, the chemical structure of it it's always they have OH in their chemical structure. So whenever you will have uh, a chemical compound, it's written hydroxide, it's alkaline. Or it's uh, OH, for example, here it's sodium, uh, sodium hydroxide, sodium it's Na, NaOH. So, Whenever you will have a compound that it has OH in it, that means this is an example of alkaline. Alkalis and bases. We just explained what they mean by uh, alkali. We said it's any chemical compound that has uh, OH in its chemical structure. But sometimes you will hear the word base. Okay, what do you mean by base here? Some chemical compounds, they are made up of metal oxide. So, any chemical compound that its chemical structure, it consists of metal plus oxide. So, this chemical compound, it's an example of 
base. So when a metal oxide dissolve in water, it form alkaline solution. Metal oxides are called uh, bases. Okay. For example, soluble me soluble metal bases form alkali alkalis when they dissolve in water. Here is an example, and uh, here sodium oxide. Okay. Why sodium oxide its base? Because as we said, uh, the chemical structure of it, it's metal plus oxide. So the meaning of bases, it's any chemical compound that has that, uh, that its chemical structure, it consists of uh, metal oxide. The end of unit questions, this it will be your task for this uh, unit. Uh, students, all of you, when you will watch the video, when you will finish watching the video, you need, you need to write a comment so I can make sure everyone he received the video and everything is clear. If you ha if you still have any questions or if you have something it's not clear, don't hesitate to text me. Have a good day.